Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So I'm just polishing up the Jackson Dinky here. Uh, dust floating around in my house and it's kind of floating in this room a little bit. So I gave this thing a good buffing. I didn't get out all of the deeper scratches. I'm not too sure of how much clear this is a factory paint job that Jackson did with it. Like I said, I don't know how thick the clear is, and I don't want to go through the clear sanding out a lot of these deeper scratches. So what I ended up doing is just going over it, kind of touching things up a little bit, and trying to remove some of the minor scratches that were on this thing. It came out pretty good. It came out really, really nice. One of the things was that big old chip that was on the side over here, which is gone now. And what I did with that is I used the drop fill technique as far as putting paint on it. I found an orange that was really, really close. Not perfect, but close to it because this has got a kind of like an airbrush look to it. So it's a very light orange but yet it darkens out in certain areas and as it folds over, it light, lightens up again. So it's a little bit on the dark side right there. From a distance you can't tell, if you're on top of it, you can really see it. So if I bring this up close to the camera, I don't know if you can tell it's there or not. Did a nice wet sanding job on it and flattened everything out. So I thought I would go the cheap way as far as using a clear coat to cover the paint that was on there. So the paint that I use uh, has a kind of a gloss finish to it after it dries. And I could have feather sanded that in, but if you were to take, I don't know, something and, and rub on it or whatever, you may have a little bit of orange on the material or whatever you were rubbing in that area. So I figured, well, I'm gonna clear coat this. I, I don't want it to be, since the rest of the body's got a clear coat on it, I'm gonna clear coat that area as well. So I did the technique as far as rolling up the tape goes so it didn't make a sharp tape line and I was able to blend that in pretty good. But I thought I'd save a couple of bucks and go the cheaper route and use the Rust-Oleum. This is the 2X, which means it covers a more then like if you spray it one time, it's actually kind of covering twice as much as a normal spray. I don't like this stuff. This is an oil base. Usually Rust-Oleum is kind of like an enamel, but this is oil based and I really don't care for it whatsoever. And I'm not gonna skip out again and try to go a cheap route next time I have either a chip to fill or uh, any type of a clear coat that I'm gonna be doing is stick with the Max Spray. This stuff works really good very durable and it sticks to anything too just like you know rust-oleum does but it's a lot more durable than rust-oleum so what i ended up doing is like i said drop fill doing my cover here with the rolled up tape so the tape didn't make a really solid tape line which i'm going to go and pick up uh the actual foam tape that is used to do what I usually do when I roll up the piece of tape to uh, get an area to where I want to fog in and not have a real sharp tape line as far as taping goes. They sell it by the box, sell it by the roll in different sizes as well. Uh, basically, it, it's got a little bit of an adhesive on one side of it and you kind of just lay it where you want it and this is actually flexible because it's foam so I can go around the edges a lot easier than trying to use it uh, or use masking tape because masking tape when you fold it when you bend it it folds so you really can't get that edge really good so I did have to do some sanding on the edge over here but all in all I think it came out really really nice and I think the owner is going to be really happy with that too so what I ended up doing with this guitar is it's got a five-way switch that's no big deal I put a push and pull pot on here for the humbucker this is the uh, my mom DiMarzio set here and humbucker is splittable down to where it's a act as a single coil just like the other two would um I couldn't do the bridge that he wanted he wanted me to put the Floyd Rose bridge on here and remove the Jackson bridge on here but the only problem is is that it was shifted all the way off to one side I would have to route out this whole area over here giving me a little bit of a gap on this side and 
if I would have left it right where it was, the strings would be off to one side more instead of being centered on the neck or centered over the pickups. So I didn't want that. This thing stays in tune. It's uh, all set up and ready to go. So I got to do a box cleaning as far as the case goes. And uh, this is kind of one of the things that I also do when I send back somebody's guitar. Uh, I clean their case for them. I vacuum it out. I will clean the outside of the case and uh, so it's like getting back a brand new case.